Hi everyone and welcome back on my YouTube channel. This is your Khan Baba from Middle East. Today is October 10th, Thursday afternoon. I hope this video find you well. I try to my level best to give you latest update about Zimbabwe dollar. So without any further delay, let's jump right in and explore the video. Zimbabwe The introduction of the world's newest currency in April inspired a reggae artist to record a song praising the Zig or Zimbabwe gold. The catchy tune, titled Zig Mari, received generous play on state television and radio. The musician, Ross Caleb, received a car and $2,000 ironically paid in greenbacks, not the new zigs from a businessman with close ties to Zimbabwe's ruling party and President Emerson Mnangagwa. He said he wanted to reward an act he considered patriotic. Although money typically doesn't require publicity, Zimbabwe's sixth national currency in 15 years needs all the help it can get. Desperate to halt a money crisis underlining the country's economic troubles, the government launched the gold-backed zig the latest attempt to replace the Zimbabwe dollar, which had been battered by depreciation and often outright rejection by people unwilling to put their faith in it. Senior officials from the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe and the ruling ZANU-PF party embarked on a flurry of public rallies and meetings to encourage the skeptical population to now embrace the zig ahead of the US dollar also legal tender. In the Southern African nation, commercial, Jingles heralding the currency flooded the airwaves along with Caleb's single. Yet despite the charm offensive, the Zig is facing a familiar problem. Public mistrust and structural barriers that have people still clamoring for US dollars. Although the Zig has largely held its value on the official market, it has tumbled on the black market, where one dollar can be exchanged for up to 17 Zigs. Authorities are also using force to prop up the new banknotes. They have packed jail cells with dozens of street currency dealers and frozen the accounts of businesses accused of undermining the zig. Law enforcement agents have arrested more than 200 street currency dealers on allegations of flouting foreign currency exchange regulations, National Police spokesman Paul Nyathi said. The government accuses them of undermining and devaluing the new currency by using exchange rates higher than the official one. Economist Prosper Chitambara said lack of faith in the local currency and demand for US dollars will continue driving the black market despite the crackdown. The solution is to build public confidence in the local currency. Otherwise, arrests will not work as long as people are hungry for US dollars which they cannot get from official channels, Chitambara said. God bless you and take care.